Hello everyone, today is another video about FKM guidelines. Simulation of eye welded joint and eye evaluation with FKM guidelines with assessment of static strength using local stresses. There are several methods for welding simulation, for example Heibach, Hotspot or CIB method. I weld, model and simulate a welding using the CIB method. The CIB method was developed at the University of Dortmund in Germany by the Chemical Apparatus Construction Working Group for use in FAM simulation. Here the weld is replaced by a radius. Radius is rod 2 multiplied by weld size A. Here in picture you can see red cross section is replacement welding with radius. The advantages of this method are that it is pragmatic and fast modeling of welding and no singularity problem. You can use stress directly from FAM analysis. Disadvantages of CIB it is only usable for fillet weld and this method is not yet included in the guidelines or standard. For example, we simulate a welding lug with thickness 20 mm and welding size 8 mm. Geometrical dimensions can you see in picture. Material is steel S355 and load case force X minus 10 kN and force Y 5 kN. First, we need a preparation from part in CID. I connect my welded parts to one volume and create radii. Radius is root to multiplied weld sides. It is 11 mm. Additional create small radius on the edge, picture on the right side. After this, release weld root in CRD. The two parts are now connected with just a welding. I simulate it with a PrepoMax. Import prepared CRD from welding lock into PrepoMax. And mesh it. It is important to create a fine mesh in the weld area. For this I create a refinement 1 mm in radius. Create mesh. With section cut check weld root release. It is ok. Create reference point for forces. Material is steel, A modulus and poison ratio. Define solid section for part. Rigid constraints between reference point and hole surface. Next, create static step. Fixed boundary conditions on the side. and force X and Y on the reference point. Model is finished. Run simulation. Two results. Double click on stress scale. The edit settings menu opens. Activate max value and location. Here you can see ma max of 
Mises stresses. For assessment using local stresses with FKM guideline, we need a special equivalent stress. For T's, we need a stress that acts perpendicular to the weld and a shear stress is parallel to the welding. Using the formula in the picture, you can that calculate equivalent stress. We go back to results. Here there are stresses perpendicular to the weld S11 and stress S12 air shear stresses parallel to the weld. Uh, Prepomex has a very good function. You can create user defined results. In menu results, we create user field output with equitation. Here I write equitation for equivalent stress. root of stress S11 squared plus stress 12 squared units is megapascal okay uh, i have i have a bug somewhere check equitation Here is the error. No, you can see stress for FKM guideline. Max stress is in welding root. With the CIB method, we cannot use the stresses in the welding root. For welding root, we need another method. Here we read the max stresses in radius. It is 105.4 megapascal. With this, I can carry out assessment with FKM. On the left side of the picture, I have stress for FAR, and on the red, right side, I show a way to determine allowable, allowable stress. 3.2 material properties. For welding part, we have not technological order or anisotropic factor. We can use yield and tensile strength directly from material data sheet. 3.3 design parameters. So first, we check weld cross section. If weld cross section is bigger than sheet thickness, then we can use design parameter NPL also for welding parts. NPL and KIP calculation can you find in video before. But if weld cross section is smaller than the sheet thickness, then its design parameter is 1. And weld factor alpha W we can use from table 3.3.5 from FKM guideline. In 3.4, we can calculate critical components stress for this part, finally safety factor, and in 3.6, assessment. Here is the assessment for welding lag. We have 105 megapascal equivalent stress from simulation on the left side. Material properties from datasheet. In 3.3, welding cross section is smaller than sheet thickness, and NPL is 1, and alpha is 0.8. Component critical stress is 288 megapascal. With safety factor 1.5, the assessment is 0.55. It is smaller than 1, it is okay. So it was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.